the most important thing for us is how many people are coming to our theaters. And in our case at AMC, we had 3.3 million people watch Top Gun over this Memorial Day holiday weekend. It is the biggest Memorial Day weekend movie of all time. I actually think that when Paramount releases numbers today, they'll be higher than what you've seen in the press reports. This is two and a half times the biggest Tom Cruise movie opening ever. Uh, we're just euphoric. You said that 3.3 million people. I know that's a huge increase over Memorial Day last year. Is that a record in terms of people? Because, you know, obviously ticket prices are up. People were paying for premium experiences here. If you're looking at just people coming through, where do we stand now versus pre-pandemic? Uh, it's a record for us for a single movie title. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in total, we had about 5 million people in our theaters watching not only this movie, but the other 20 titles that are playing at AMC. And wait till you see what's coming, because this is just the first of many. Jurassic World Dominion opens in two weeks. Pixar's Light Years a week after that. And oh, the summer is just a flood of great movie titles. Uh, Thor and Minions. Uh, there's an Elvis biopic starring Tom Hanks, which from Baz Luhrmann, uh, who did direct, who did uh, Moulin Rouge way back when. Uh, it's going to be a big, big summer, in our opinion. And then it just continues all the way to Christmas. Avatar 2 is coming in December. You know, Avatar was the biggest movie of all time back when it was released uh, ages ago. So needless to say, at theater chains, uh, thank you, Tom Cruise. We are very excited. Yeah, I don't think you're the only one thinking that. If we're looking at your stock today, last I looked, it was up by about 12 percent. I, I don't think that's because of Top Gun alone. I think that's because people really do think that this is going to bring people back to the movie theaters. Does it change your strategy at all? Are you going to be looking at this and saying, OK, we can really focus on our bread and buttered or maybe our buttered popcorn here and know that this is a viable option? Maybe you don't need to branch out in some of the ways you've talked about branching out. Well, we're going to continue to branch out because we're able to do so and we're good at it. Uh, and so there are various new business ventures coming. But, you know, even though we were diversifying, we were never taking our eye off the ball, our core business. Uh, I've been a big cheerleader for the return of movie theater business. I always thought the conventional wisdom was simply wrong, that somehow we were an anachronism. Uh, Americans, and for that matter, people the world over, have enjoyed going to the cinema for over a century. Uh, and we've known, just, just look at Spider-Man No Way Home back in December uh, and uh, the Marvel uh, uh, Doctor Strange movie just a, a few weeks ago. Yeah. When Hollywood makes movies and releases them in theaters that people want to see, they're coming out in huge numbers to enjoy our theaters. So we're, we're excited. Uh, we're confident. We, we know that we're on a, on a path to recovery from 26 months of pandemic, uh, but we're still going to diversify, too. Uh, there's more in us than just movie theater.